Hi guys, it's MJ and in this video I'm going to be giving you a lesson. And this lesson is also going to be on decision theory and this is part 2 of the 4 series video. So if you haven't seen part 1, go check that one out before you get into this one. This one we're going to be dealing with something known as statistical games. So they are a little bit more complicated than the zero-sum games we saw in the previous video because in those previous games, it was player A versus player B. Now what we have is we have nature versus player B. And what I mean by nature, I'm not talking about trees and reindeers and all those type of things. I'm talking about, you know, the state of the situation or the scenario or, you know, what actually is happening. And this is all going to make sense with an example. And why we're calling it statistical games is because with these games against nature, we normally have some information about nature's choice. So we have a little bit of information, so we're going to try outsmart nature. So what is going to be our example? And this example is going to run through the remainder of the videos. So it's, it's a very simple example, but the idea is to explain the notation and explain the theory. So this is going to be our scenario or the game we're going to play. We are going to be flipping a coin. Okay, so we're going to be flipping this coin and we want to determine if it is a fair coin or an unfair coin. Okay, if it's a fair coin, it means, you know, on the one face you have heads and on the other face, you know, you have tails. Okay, not the best drawer, but we can see we've got heads and we have tails. Sorry, heads and tails. These, if a coin has got these two faces, we know that it is fair. But if the coin has got on both faces, um, it's got heads on both, then we know that it is unfair. And this is what we're going to try and determine. We're going to try to determine whether a coin is fair or unfair after seeing one flip of the coin. And how the rules of this game works is that if you say that it's unfair and the coin is unfair, then that's great. There's a zero points in that. But if you get it wrong, you, there's going to be a penalty of one pound. Um, and that, that's going to be your penalty. So you don't want to get, get that penalty. This is going to be the penalty for incorrectly deciding. So if you say it's unfair and it's fair, or you say it's fair when it's unfair, this is going to be your penalty. So what we can do is we can draw up a game matrix. So the game matrix is going to be as follows. Okay, 0, 1, 1, 0. And we can think of this as player A, and we can think of this as nature. Now this is where it might get a little bit confusing because we're now going to be introducing notation. So I'm going to put in the notation, and I'm also going to put in what it actually means. So, and I'm going to just write these in a different color. So, this Greek symbol here is going to be saying that this is when nature is unfair, and this is going to be when nature is fair. So, this is when the coin is unfair or when the coin is fair. A1 is our decision saying that the coin is unfair. And A2 is our decision when we say that the coin is fair. So we can see, if we correctly guess it, it's zero. Otherwise, if we're incorrect, there is a one pound penalty. And it's important to remember, we, the coin, we don't know, is it going to be fair or unfair? This is given by nature, and we now have to guess. But we do have some information, and that information is that we are going to see um, one flip of the coin. So our information is going to be a flip of the coin. Okay, so now what is this outcome of the coin going to be? It's going to be a random variable. So we're going to have a, a random variable, and let's call it x. And x is either going to be equal to 0, or x is going to be equal to 1. And if it's 0, this is... This is if it's heads, we're just denoting it by 0, and if it's tails, it equals to 1. OK, 
Okay, these numbers don't have anything to do with these. I mean, this could be 150 and this would still be 0 and 1. Okay, so there's no relationship between those two numbers. So this is how we're starting up our game. We're flipping a coin. We don't know if it's fair or unfair, but we're allowed to see one flip of the coin and we know that the value that the face that it lands up is going to take on this random variable. It's either going to be 0 or it's going to be 1. What the probability is going to be, we're going to see that in later videos. But for now, I just want to focus on what are the various decisions that we can take. So what are our various decision functions? So I'm going to clear this stuff up over here so that we have enough space. And I want to keep the stuff on the right there so that we can, we can see what's going on. And let's use a different color. Okay. So what I'm going to be talking to you guys now about is the decision function. Okay. So the decision function is what are we going to choose to do when depending on the outcome of this coin. So decision one could be as follows. Okay. So decision one, depending on the value of x, okay, we are going to choose a1 when x equals 0 and a2 when x equals 1. Okay, what does that mean? And this is why I've tried to write out the, the notation and the actual thing, because what we're saying is that if we see that the value is heads, we're then going to choose a1, which says unfair. So if we see, and this is just for decision one. So decision one is that if the coin comes up heads, then we're going to say it's unfair. If we see it comes up as tails, we're going to say that it is fair. That is decision one. But there are four decisions that we can make. Okay. Decision two for X can be as follows. Okay. Decision two we can say, well, you know what, regardless of what happens, if it's heads or if it's tails, we're just going to say it's unfair. So no matter what, we're just going to say it's unfair. That's decision two. Okay, now decision three could be, say, the, the opposite of that. So decision three for X could be, you know what, we're going to say that it's going to be equal to, uh, we're going to say that the coin's going to be fair regardless of the outcome. So we're just going to say A2, you know, for all values of X. So it doesn't matter if X is equal to zero, like, so if X is heads or if heads is tail, decision three is we're going to say that the coin is going to be fair all the time. And then finally, decision four could be as follows. So decision four, what we're going to be saying is that if the coin is heads, we're going to say that it's fair. So A2 when X equals zero, yeah, fair heads. And we're going to say it is unfair when it's tails. When X equals one. Okay, so what we have here, these are our various decision functions. So they depend on the information that we receive. So instead of us just saying fair and unfair like we did in the previous games, you know, we just made our decision based on this matrix. What we now have is we have this extra piece of information. But we don't know how this information is going to turn out because it is a random variable. And that's why we create decision functions. So determining what happens with information, we're going to take on these various decisions. Now, as of now, we don't know which decision is the best. We don't know which decision is optimal. That's what we're going to see in later videos. Because for one thing, we know that the coins are either going to be fair or unfair. But we don't know if both sides are going to be heads heads or if both sides are going to be tails tails in an unfair situation. So until we have that information, we cannot actually say anything about this decision function. But that's what I'm going to be looking at in video three. The last thing I want to do is just introduce a little bit more notation and that is as follows. Let me get a different color. So what we can, or I mean we can even do it over here, is we can introduce these things known as the loss functions. OK, 
Okay, and we can see that the loss function is a function that relies on two parameters, and that is the state of nature and our choice. So let me put them here, loss A2. And we're going to see these guys play a bigger role in the following videos. So in this video, I just wanted to introduce statistical games. I wanted to introduce this concept that we're playing against nature, and I wanted to introduce decision functions and loss functions. Now in the later videos, we're going to be looking at something known as the risk function. So have a quick break and then tune in to see that video. Good luck.